I was trying to present the current available therapies for patients with advanced stage Hodgkin lymphoma, so stage 3 and 4 Hodgkin lymphoma, and split it up into patients under 60 and over 60 because there's a different approaches for those two age groups. So under 60, there's really three options to use for the patients, which would be the most standard option, which is what I call the Rathal approach, where you get two cycles of ABVD. And if you have a negative interim PET scan, then you get four cycles of AVD, which eliminates bleomycin, which we have a lot of toxicity with. And then a second option for the high-risk patients is to start with a more aggressive regimen called escalated BACOP and give two cycles of that. And if you have a negative PET scan, then de-escalate to ABVD for four cycles. And they had very favorable results with that with four-year progression-free survival of nine, over 90%, which is better than we've seen with anything else. And then the third option is a newer option, which is um, using AVD plus brentuximab vidotin. And that uh, came out of a very large randomized trial comparing ABVD to AAVD um, and looked very favorable. There was a statistically significant improvement in progression-free survival with 77% uh, for ABVD and 82% for uh, AAVD, uh, but still room for improvement there. So I think um, we were a little bit disappointed that the AAVD wasn't better. And then for patients over 60, giving the combination of AAVD is really too toxic and they did not see improvement in that group. So one option is to um, give sequential therapy. So first give brentuximab vidotin by itself for two cycles, then give six cycles of AVD with no bleomycin, and then give four more doses of brentuximab. So um, alternatively, you can use AVD in that over 60 age group, but you definitely do not want to give bleomycin to that age group.